leeks, green onions, superhero cousin. They're actually quite expensive to buy in the stores these days, which is fortunate for us gardeners because they're dead easy to grow. And speaking of easy to grow, just like green onions, you can re-sprout and regrow a brand new leek plant from an already harvested leek. You don't need any special tools to do it. It's super easy, so let's get to it. We begin with a single leek stalk. For this project, you will need three things. The aforementioned leek, obviously, a sharp knife, and a small jar of fresh water. Start by cutting your leek at the white root end, leaving about an inch or more of that base intact. Save that leek stalk for your favorite recipe later that night, and place the butt end of that leek root side down in that jar of water. You gotta ensure that it stays upright and that the water doesn't completely submerge the top. This step is basic enough, but it's easy to overlook those two things. In fact, my initial choice of jar size for these leaks was entirely too large. There was no way to reliably get them to stand up properly, so I quickly found another size. Three days later or less, you will start to see the topside shoots begin to come back to life. They may have actually grown an inch or more and even started to green up. New root production, however, which is what we're after, will be minimal. But don't worry, it's coming. After around five days, the shoots will have really sprung up and will have turned a dark green in color. After 10 days since we first cut our leeks, we basically have a new leek plant grown entirely in water. White roots have exploded out of the bottom and really we're kind of at the threshold of where these plants are done with just sitting around in water. For planting, I choose one gallon standard size nursery pots. They're easy to find, durable, and they're just a perfect match for a single leek plant. I line the bottom with newspaper because the holes are quite large and soil tends to leak out. I fill mine to the top with my favorite potting or container mix. Compress that soil down about 25% and then add some more of the mix to top it off. Using your favorite screwdriver, make a hole in the center of the pot about 2.5 inches deep. Grab your leek plant, place it in the hole, and pot it up. Ensure that the plant is deep enough so that the white section is buried, but the green shoots are above the ground. Now, if you've let your leeks sit in water for an extended period of time, they'll still be alive, but you've created an extra step. You will have to remove several or all of those outer coatings that have begun to dissolve in the water or else they will rot in the pot. It's quite easy though. Keep peeling away until you've reached the fresh new stem then pot up that leek plant the exact same way as before. As you can see, regrowing leeks from previously cut ones is nearly identical to the way we do green onions. 
The too long didn't watch the video is that within two weeks, you can grow fresh new leeks from ones you buy at the grocery store. Simply cut your leek, leaving an inch or more at the rooted end intact. Place that rooted end in fresh water for about a week to 10 days, replacing that water every two days. After about 10 days, these guys just explode with white roots and are ready for potting. Pot up these rooted leeks in either a pot with your favorite organic potting mix, or if the weather permits, straight into your garden. And about two to three weeks after that, you'll be harvesting fresh leeks yet again. Hey guys, as always, thanks for watching. Regrowing new veg from store-bought produce is ridiculously fun. And best of all, it's easy and it's free. Give it a try and see for yourself. Hey, thanks for watching guys. If you're getting value in this and the other series that I'm doing on YouTube, hit those like, share, and subscribe buttons if you'd be so kind, and I'll see you in the next video.